Hey guys, DJ Dopus here. Damn, it's been a while since I've made a video like this. Uh, right now it is like 3.38 in the morning, but I was pretty bored and I decided to make this video. I've been getting a lot of questions about some of the scratches that I've been doing uh, involving like these whip scratches um, that I picked up on lately. Uh, so I was gonna do like a tutorial video, I guess, in a way. It's gonna be like just me rambling for about, I don't know, 10 minutes about uh, the way I do scratching now, I guess. Uh, I've been pretty busy. I uh, finally finished my second year of college, so now I have a little more free time. been working quite a bit, and I actually won DMC in Austin, so I'll be battling at the U.S. level this August, so that should be pretty fun. Besides that, I've still been scratching and whatnot, and uh, here we go. The beat I'm using is Capsule Beat 3, and uh, by DJ Junk is Lou, I believe, and I'm just using a standard Super Seal with my shiny new Rain 62. Anyway, so let's get started. I actually don't know where to begin, so I'm just going to do some freestyle cuts and then I'm just going to talk about it from there. Hopefully you guys can hear it, I can't keep it too loud because my roommate's asleep and it's like almost 4 in the morning. So right there, what I've been doing is um, uh, one the main scratch that I guess I'm basing all these combos off of is going to be a variation of a chirp flare, but it's a chirp flare with a tear backwards. So what you're doing is you're doing a regular like a regular chirp flare is you know. But what I'm doing is instead of uh, just bringing it back actually do a tear backwards or a whip backwards by pulling my hand up and then down. So it gives this sound. So instead of So that's um, where I'd start trying to pick up like the hand control style scratching with uh, whips and tears like that by just trying to do that. Um, I've also been really practicing my transforms. I've been trying to get, you know, like three clicks to four click transforms down really well without crabbing to give it a really like kind of robotic sound. Um, I picked that from scratching with Enfo a lot. He does a lot of transforms, so he doesn't have to rely on just crabs to do lots of fader clicks. So it's really good to practice your transforms and you know trying to get like like three three good ones backwards, three good ones forward, and three good ones backwards. So it's really good to practice your transforms because honestly it'll only benefit you. Um, as for other scratches that I've been doing, I've been doing lots of variation with two click flares and you know the whip scratch. One scratch that I've been getting quite a bit of questions about is this one. Basically what that one is, it's, it's going to be a lot, almost exactly the same as the first six steps of an Autobahn, which are going to be an you know, open, close, tap, open, close, tap. But you're actually doing that whip scratch. So what you're doing is, you know, you're bringing the record forward and then whipping it back. And then once you can practice those and do those quickly, they should sound like this. And the 
scratch that I'm actually, or the record pattern that I'm actually doing with that scratch is. And then you do two clicks over it. Uh, I've been practicing my California rolls. Um, we're using that whip scratch, so you know, the California rolls just, you know. But when you do it with the whip, it sounds cooler. Basically, the foundation for all those types of scratches is just going to be this record hand motion. Which is all based off of, you know, just... I've also been practicing my cuts hamster. Um, I can do most of them hamster. The only thing that I have trouble doing hamster are like chirps. But crabs and regular transforms and two click players, I can do them all right. <laughs> Not as clean as I'd like to be, but I'm getting there. Um, as for anything else, I mean... I like to do lots of transform pausing like that. Um, it adds a little, I guess, variation to the scratching. It adds, you know, those pauses really, like, if when you're getting into the pocket of the beat, adds a lot of like accentuation. It makes it sound, I guess, cooler. That's pretty much all I can think of for now. Um, I'll probably end up doing another video soon. Um, actually, I don't know how soon because iMovie and my laptop is completely fucked and I don't have any other editing software, so I'm literally just uploading this directly from my camera to the computer. Uh, hopefully I can get some sort of editing software so I can get back on making videos and whatnot, but besides that, everything else has been all right. Um, Again, if you guys have any questions, just leave it, in your, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back with you and try to further explain myself, but I feel like that's pretty much it. I mean, it's all about getting that hand control down to where you're doing those whips really clean and, and really deliberate so it gets that cool sound. But again, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.